Hey, Shalom Amakim, Shalom uh, First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakak, Badash. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. And it was in the gospel, bro. I lift up the standard of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever they may be. This is the Aki of Mahalaya coming back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord's will it be quick and edifying. It's a couple of precepts here. Uh, free will. Um, I'm speaking on this today at the barbershop, man. You know, Jake getting the barbershop chronicles. You know, it's a lot of folly going on in the barbershop, especially among Jake. Because, see, Jake like to think that they on a level, okay, that they know more than the most high. And that they have control over their own lives and doings. In which you do have a subconscious. But the Lord put a subconscious in you to dictate right from wrong. And a lot of times it's just flat out rebellion. As to the route Jake chooses to go But the Lord programmed you man Okay Everything in your life Everything that you've done The, the minute you thought All the fucking wet dreams you didn't had The most I didn't put that shit in your mindset Upon your makeup and your spirit Okay Because let's just say the Lord really did gives us free will You really think that we would actually turn back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai And on top of that We had free will we will be as gods, man, literally as, as gods. And the scriptures say, uh, uh, knowing good and evil, they should be as gods, meaning the, the understanding, the wisdom and knowledge. And we are lower level gods on a lower level, even with the, 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 the dictation that the Most High has put in our lives. But let's just say you think the Most High is going to allow us to be just as powerful as him by making decisions that ain't, that ain't, that ain't already like capped or dictated. Because, yeah, men go off the deep end and all this other shit, but the Lord still had us on a leash, still has us on a leash. You know, it's kind of like a, like, a, like a dojo master. You may teach your best student every move you know, but you always got that one or two move that you can't teach him because it's possible that he'll be able to, <laughs> to, to try to use them against you, man. And that's what men will do. Men try to overthrow the ways of the most high being programmed and just being on a lower level. How much more if we really had power? Over our own particular thoughts and our own dictation in life, like because everything you did is already written out. It's, it's a script. It was already played out before the world began. It's just a matter of the Lord allowing it to play out on a planet Earth, like a book, right? Well, if you write a movie script and you say, "Well, look, I want to turn this book into a full pitch, a full length, a full length film, a full uh, depiction of a movie. Because most books or most movies come from books in a roundabout way. Or you have what they call the novel based on a movie. But let's just say if I had a, a, a 200 uh, a page script and I wanted to film it before cameras. Don't you know that I got to write out my characters, put who's this, who's that, their roles in the movie. Before it goes before a camera, don't you think I gotta have a fucking script written out before I, 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 uh, I, I, before we film the movie? And it's the same way in his life, man. Okay, your role in this movie has already been pre wrote pre, pre it has already be, been pre written out. Okay, the Most High has already wrote your part into this existence before you were even a being on the planet Earth, man. When He created your spirit. The Lord had already set your life up. Your decisions you was going to make, the time you didn't change the mind, the time you didn't went off, the time you just said, no, I'm not going to turn that corner because I may get cracked upside the head or I may not commit adultery because, you know, the Lord can judge me or I may commit adultery because I'm a wicked nigga. The most high put that in you before you even was even thought about it. So when you wake up in the morning and think that because you're going to go to work the next day, that's your choice. No, the Lord already put that shit in you before you were even here. And that's the part people don't give the most high credit. And then they get simple and say, well, why the Lord going to make us if he know what we going to do already? Well, because, hey, Paul answered that question. The Lord does what the hell he wants to do. And understandingly so, we can't really fully understand the matter of the most high. Okay, the scriptures tells us that uh, the Lord's ways are higher than our thoughts. His thoughts are higher our ways and not his ways. And we can't fully understand everything in this third dimensional body. So we have to be on a level to understand exactly why the Lord did what he did. And we understand some of the purpose, okay, because we had to know evil in order to be balanced and good, to properly judge, you know, and to bring us back into the fold. We understand certain things because that would be unrighteous of the most high to just create us to be fucked up and destroyed us forever, which cuts the hell bullshit. Just the whole doctrine alone proves that we don't have free will. 
and that and it cuts that free will shit because let's just say if hell was real that means that man was running off the deep end there was no cap for the wickedness the lord's gonna put a cap on this shit man you know and another thing too uh uh would we'll cut that hell shit because if we did have free will the most high would just allow us to be destroyed forever but in this case even though Jake is going off in wickedness, Jake is going to still be the people of the Lord and they're going to all return back righteousness. Why? Because he wrote it that way. It's just that simple, man. Okay? You Jakes, you try to lean on your own understanding and you always fall short. But you niggas don't have no power, man. Okay? So this is the book of Jeremiah 1 and I'm going to start at verses... Uh, uh, let's start at verses 4. It says, then the word of Yahweh came into me saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Wait a minute. What does that say? Meaning he knew thee. Before you was in your mother's womb, what were you? In the spirit world. Who created your spirit? The most high. Hebrews, the 11th chapter, I believe, or the 12th chapter, I believe Hebrews uh, 11 goes, I think 11 and 31 goes into uh, the Lord is the father of spirits. So when you're the father of something or the progenitor of something, that means that you created it. Okay, he's the father of spirits. Now, was Jeremiah a spirit before he came into his mother's womb? Yes. Okay, in the heavens, in his spiritual body, and he came down here to be a ministering spirit into Israel. And that's why I said, before I formed thee in the belly, <laughs> fucking allergies, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. Okay, which sanctified goes into uh, uh, cleaning. Okay, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. So, he was already, the Lord already told him, like, look, you're one of mine. You were created to be this way. I mean, at all the bullshit Jeremiah ever went through in life, all the times he didn't thought to get rebellious, the time he said, you know what, Lord, I'm not going to teach in your name. But what did the Lord do? He said the fire of the Lord was burning in within him to the point he couldn't withhold his peace anymore. He had to speak. But the most high put those thoughts in there because, man, overall, we have to have something to overcome, you know? And it says here, came forth out of the womb, I I, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And that's exactly what he did. And it says, then he said, I, our Lord, Yahweh, behold, I cannot speak, for I'm a child. But Yahweh said unto me, say not that I'm a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. So there you go. You have no free will. The Lord commanded us all to do what we're doing in our lives, even if you're a demon. The Lord has set you up to be a demon so he can ultimately destroy your ass. Okay, like the Lord going to Romans, the ninth chapter, the Lord created the, 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 the uh, uh, vessels of righteousness and the vessels of destruction, man, which Esau is that vessel of destruction. So he said of the two children being born and neither one of them sinned, but the Most High created one to be destroyed, do we find unrighteousness with the Most High? He said, God forbid. No, the Lord created whatever he has for its purpose and he have mercy on who the fuck he gonna have mercy on. The Lord can do whatever he want. You can't, Question a malevolent or a, a, a omnipotent being such as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Even with Yahweh Shai, the Lord created him to do what he had to do. And he did it because it was written into his algorithm. So, saber robots, yeah. Yeah, I got the decision to go in there and get in the refrigerator and get, a, get something to eat right now. I'm hungry. I want to eat. Guess what? The Lord already put that in my story. So, we're just laying out. We're, 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 it's a movie, man. This is, shit is crazy, right? Uh, Proverbs 21, and I'm going to start at 1. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. It says, The king's mind is in the hand of the Most High. So Esau's mind is in the hand of the Lord. Okay, Esau coming with this with this technocracy, you know, with his, with his sea hip, with his martial law, with this, the, the pestilence. Do you not know that the Most High has programmed Esau to be as he is? The Lord had to create a, a wicked aspect to the righteousness. It's a balance, man. The Lord is controlling Esau on the left-hand side. He's the ultimate puppet master. So a lot of times we get bent out of shape about what this cracker is doing, but the Most High created the nigga to do what he's doing. So you got to let the shit play out. And when you understand how the story ends, you have a little bit more comfort in that. And oftentimes we, we're so short-sighted as people, especially Israel, like Jake is not far-sighted at all. We look at shit at hand instead of looking beyond that, man. You know, or just like in martial arts, man, they teach you to hit the guy. No, when you hit him, you want to go through this nigga, man. You want to go through, you want to put him, you want to go through him. I don't want to just hit you. I want to fucking take your soul. You know what I'm saying? 
And that's how we gotta look at things from a from a a, a, a scope like a, 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 a longevity type mindset. Well, we're going through this now, but what is end goal? Okay, end goal is we ain't gonna suffer forever. Okay, that gives me strength and faith and confidence to continue to teach because I know this is temporal. Okay, it says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water. He turned it whatsoever he will. Hey, and this is a cut, man. I, I think I brought this out. It says every way of a man is right in his own eyes. That's you niggas, you barbershop niggas, man. You know, it's right in your eyes, but the Lord pondered with the hearts, man. So to you, yeah, man, you know, I got this. It's right in your own mindset. Like, you know, I stay arguing with my barber about our purpose. He's like, well, the Lord got me doing this and this and this and that. You know, I might don't see it from your perspective. You're right. You don't have to see it from my perspective, but the Lord tells you how to do it. It's commandments. You don't go, go off my heart type shit. Well, um, you know, uh, I feel like the Lord put me here for this and this and that. But I'm like, okay, but if you're doing wickedness, end game is you're going to be destroyed. He said, but how am I doing wickedness? And I'm like, come on, bro. Like, do we really got to go there? Like, do we really got to go down how you been? And I, you know, and I, I had to do a hypothetical scenario because Jake is, you know, Jake get real defensive easily. They don't understand the spiritual things. But I could call out five, six things that you're doing that the Most High doesn't approve of. So how the fuck is God with you? Especially when you know better and you got men teaching you this. Now, if you don't understand the scriptures, then, you know what I'm saying, that's one thing. Which you don't understand the scriptures, but you have a concept of a higher power knowing that he serves a purpose. And God ain't what the fuck you want him to be to you, man. You're supposed to be what the Most High told you to do. Okay, you're going to be one of two things, either righteous or wicked. And the righteous are going to do what they're supposed to do. They're going to be out there teaching on the streets. If they're prophets, if they're not prophets, they're going to be believers. They're going to be helping the ministry. They're going to call on the name of the Most High, and they're not going to be involved in no folly. Okay, that's scriptural. And see, when it gets to that point, Jake got to make up excuses as to how God is dealing with them. Nah, Lord ain't dealing with you if you ain't coming out of the scriptures, man. That's why it says every way is of a man is right in his own eyes. But the Lord pondered with the hearts, man. Okay? So that's the point I wanted to make in that. It's a good chapter. Uh, a couple more precepts, nothing too long. Psalms uh, 5 and 21. Proverbs 5 and 21, I'm sorry. It says, for the ways of men are before the eyes of Yahweh, and he pondered all his goings. So the Most High is in control of everything, man. Okay? He's in control of everything. He's in control of where you think. Your mental issues, the Lord put that in your program because it's ultimately for a divine purpose. Proverbs 20 and 24 says, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So how the hell you know what you're going to do? You don't know if you're going to get up in the morning and do what you're supposed to do. You could get up in the morning and you can go down the street and get hit by a fucking truck, man. You wasn't expecting that, huh? Did you choose to get hit by the truck? No, you didn't choose, but it hit your ass anyway, proving that you don't have free will. Because if you knew that, then you wouldn't have got hit by the truck in the first fucking place. So we got to calm down because it's pride, man. Scripture said we're as grasshoppers, man. We could be mowed down at any second. And I brought out a, a perfect example. I'm like, look, bro, you think that I thought that I would be doing this 12 years ago? When a, when a, when a, when a, when a thought of me being a preacher or a teacher crossed my mind, and it, it was made mention to me too a while back. So I'm like, you never know. You may end up teaching the Bible. I said, yeah, right, me. But I've always had a spiritual connection with it. But I'm like, nah, I don't really think I got the confidence to do that. I don't really want to bring people to God, especially when I know I ain't fully right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't want to do that. Nah, I scoffed at it. Like, fuck that. I did what Jeremiah did. Like, hell, nah, you crazy. Now, in the hell year, million years, I think I would be on the corners wearing a garment teaching our people. I think by now, shit, I'm in my 30s. I've probably been trying to retire. I've probably been a fucking millionaire or something. I own business. You know what I'm saying? Probably 10 kids or some shit, man. You know, just just being a nigga that's trying to make it. I didn't think I would be out here teaching Bible scriptures and getting cursed out and cursing people out and having all this hell and catching hell and, you know, all types of shit. I never thought that, man. But here we are. Why? Because the Lord directs our steps, man. Point blank, period. I don't give a damn how you try to spin it. Okay? Seal it. Seal it. Uh, seal up the hand of every man that Job 37 and 7. He sealed up the hand of every man that all men may know his work. Yep. Uh, Job 33 and I'm gonna start at verses uh, 15. It says, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep followed upon men and slumberies upon the bed, 
Then he opened the ears of men and sealed the instruction. So the Lord tells you pretty much what's going to happen the next day. Even if you are doing the same routine every single day, guess what? That's the Lord sealing your instruction for the day. You're going to get up. You're going to go to work. You're going to eat dinner. You're going to come home. You're going to do the same shit again. You're going to get up. You're going to put gas in your car. You're going to work. You're going to get your paycheck. Bam. That's your instruction. He puts it in your mind to be programmed to do what you're going to do anyway. So there's no working around it, man. Okay, no matter how much you try to cut it. Jake got to get out of the mindset that they run shit. Y'all don't run a fucking thing. Because if y'all did, y'all wouldn't be in this condition. All right? This is the book of Romans 9. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 13. It says, As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau I have hated. What say we then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? <laughs> For God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the most high that short mercy. Well, perfect example, Pharaoh, right? Thought about it. It's in the scripture. The most high hard in his heart, even though he said, I'm going to let him go. The most high put a spirit on Pharaoh to say, you know what? Fuck this shit. Get these niggas back here. The Lord put a spirit on his ass to, to, to get haughty. And his mind said that the Lord fucked him up with the first four plagues. He was like, get these niggas out of here. I don't want no dealings with them or that, yeah. Alashaja that they call Yahweh, whatever his name is. That's in his mindset. Get him out of here, man. And then Lord's like, nah, nigga, I ain't done with you yet. And that's the purpose of Esau being built up of pride and pompousness, man. Okay. <laughs> for the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, I have raised thee up, that I may show my power in thee, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, have thee mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will hardeth. That was saying to me, why doth then yet he find fault? This is the question Jake asks. For who have resisted his will? Nay, but old men, who art thou that replies against the Most High? Should the thing that formed to him or say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? Have he not the power to powder over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel and to honor and to other to dishonor? So what if the Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make known his power, endure it with much long suffering? The vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, and that he may make known the riches of his glory of the vessels of mercy, which he have afore prepared unto glory, aforetime, meaning predestined, ordained before. Okay? So that's the point, man. The Lord have already figured this is already written. That's why I said yesterday in the lesson, and it's so cold blooded. The standard has already been lifted. Now, when I say that, I'm not saying that it's lifted in our aspect. It's not lifted in our, it's not lifted now as far as what we're going through because we ain't in that time. But it's been written in the story that the Most High is going to lift the standard to certain men. And whoever those men are, they're already taken care of in the spirit. It's just a matter of it playing out and it getting here. That's the point. So I'm in it there, giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash, and with that, Shalom, Wa Baba Ba, Shalom.